Hey everybody, the College Railroader here. After a long time, I finally was able to get the N-Scale Bachman Stallion set. Now this set I was able to get on eBay, so it's slightly used. Um, the packaging is a little bit wear and tear. Some tape has been peeling off, you know, stuff like that. But I've been wanting to get this set for a while, and again, it was only slightly used, so I still wanted to review it. It's a really great N-Scale set. Um, I'll show you the inside of the box. It has a nice, great circle in it, and it also has its own adapter. So come follow me, let's look inside. Looking at the front, it's absolutely fantastic. As you can see, it is a Norfolk Southern. We also have a nice Texaco oil tank car, a great nice gondola, and a caboose as well. As you guys see, it comes with, it comes with its own speed controller and plug-in wiring, and it also makes a 24-inch circle. So that's really awesome. So because of that, the track's around like, you know, 12-inch radius, a little less than that, actually. Um, let's look on the back. Oh wow, okay. So this is also just a great starter set. Um, it also, the reason why it's really awesome is because it also shows modelers who, again, wanna get into the hobby, you know, what the different options are. So for example, besides the tracks that are here, if you buy more Bachman track like I already have, you know, it's just showing you can do different layouts um, just to give people ideas. I like that Bachman likes to encourage uh, model railroaders to expand and really look forward as you know a model is always expanding and always changing um, It talks about the speed controller. It talks about what we're gonna have in here So we're gonna have the nice f7 diesel locomotive We're gonna have the nice gondola car the dome tank and of course the caboose with the 24 inch uh, circle easy track uh, 11 pieces regular well one of them will be the plug-in terminal um, that track is how we're going to plug it into our transformer or speed controller as it's called and overall it's going to make this nice circle so let's actually open this up and we'll see what's inside so this is a very small box compared to what i've seen before so we're going to stand it up on the side um Looking at here, everything's neatly organized, but you kind of ask yourself, you know, where's the tracks? Well, it actually is right behind. So you have these 12 pieces of track as well as a nice pamphlet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all this stuff out first. Oh, no. Little guy. I'm going to take all this stuff out first, lay it, lay it out, and then that way we can see everything on the table. Before I show you the before I show you the rest of the stuff, I also want to show you the extra packaging that came in here. Usually Bachman loves to help out model railroaders who are just getting back in the swing of things, and so they're gonna uh, showcase what else Bachman has to offer as long as well as the world's greatest hobby. So, for example, just a little bit of a uh, almost like a mini catalog of what they have. They have the My First Railroader Track Pack. I actually reviewed that. Um, go check it out on YouTube. Actually, I'll leave a I'll leave a note in the video. Um, it goes all the way from HO to N scale, such as another track pack as well, um, as well as even the HO reversing track. But there's also more. Um, a lot of it is really just like, um, you know, um, how to take care of your layout. Um, there's some notes in here. Always um, the warranties given, how to assemble the tracks if you don't know. Um, just a lot of like uh, health and safety kind of, you know, mumbo jumbo, but it's really nice that they put it on here. Um, sometimes I'll even give you like little mini catalogs, um, or, you know, this is talking about like the actual train itself of what are the components inside, uh, God forbid something happens, stuff like that, even for the other rail cars. So really cool stuff. But other than that, let's start looking at the rest of the box. So this is everything that comes with it. You have the nice track. I realized at first when you look at it, it looks a little blackened. Um, I guess this is what I get for getting it used. It's supposed to be gray, just like the HO track. I believe someone just came and spread Sharpie all over it. As you can kind of see, there, it was originally gray. So when I add my tracks to it, there's gonna be a stark contrast, almost like as you guys can see with the HO. But as you guys can see here, we have the beautiful Norfolk Southern, the Texaco, um, cars, everything's really good. Let's first look at the Norfolk Southern train. So looking at it, the detail is really exquisite. I always love Bachman, even for N scale and HO in all sizes, they still put a lot of detail, whether that's adding little windows or showing all the riveting detail. It just looks really nice. The horns on top are really cool. Um, the 
coupling system is a little different from what I have. I have both different versions, so this is a standard, um, I'm going to call it L loop, as compared to like a KDC or a J loop. So um, some of my cars may not connect. I always have at least one or two cars that have both hooks on them. Um, so I kind of have a Frankenstein car, which I might have to hook up if I want to use my other cars. Um, but the train is really pretty. The Texaco uh, oil tanker is just like your standard one. Again, the riveting detail is really nice. And even the tiniest detail saying the Texas company on here, it's just really nice. Um, wheels are really good. Again, metal wheels are always such a plus. Um, even underneath, there's some um, detailing. Uh, really awesome freight car. Next is the gondola car with actually a piece of coal on top. I didn't notice that at first. Um, the coal is really detailed. Um, I like that you can clearly see that it looks like that there's individual coal pieces on here. Um, like I always say, riveting and the... Um, paint job on the side to show like you know the capacity weight and stuff like that on the sides are really really cool same couplers like before um but yeah just a really nice uh, gondola car and of course the last one is our norfolk southern red caboose um just a little nice thing i like the top that it's um that it has the black lines on top i like that it also has the ladders on top as well as the size door so it, you can almost really see how tiny and end scale figure looks like um again metal wheels great chassis these are very lightweight um i know you can put little weights in here but uh, again compared to like an ho car where if it's lighter it could be a problem with these end scales nothing at all i just noticed that when i was picking it up um but yeah i like how the windows it's just completely clear there's no actual like plastic glass as compared to the train but they have to use that for the engine because you have to put the lighting fixture on here. Um, but yeah, overall, really, really good. So I already have the big uh, AC adapter plugged in here. You, I then have the red cord that attaches all the way to that real railer, that re-railer track. Um, just a nice, simple cord. It almost plugs in like a simple audio jack. That's kind of how it looks like. Um, switching it on, you have a big click that's how you got the powers on, the red light. And then if you look, I slowly start increasing it, just slowly turns on. And just by going this slow, there's no um, speed on here, so I really can't predict how fast it is. But if you see, his light's already going on. So it, I'm just gonna see how fast he goes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try full speed. Something I really shouldn't do, but. Oh, wow, wow! Ooh, okay, okay, speed demon. Wow, look at that, that was crazy. Um, the light is super bright, um, really amazing, um, which is awesome. I didn't think it would actually be this bright, so good on, good job for Bachman. Um, let's add a couple of these cars and let's do this all in a row. Uh, how you put these cars on, uh, simply, just like you do with normal trains, you kind of hold the wheels up to the rails, give a little push to make sure they work or they uh, run well. I'm gonna put the tank car here. Uh, so if you look at this way, um, because these hooks are like the loop ones, you have to almost jump them on top of each other. There we go, like that. And then line it up. And so we just have the one more of the gondola car. Let's get this set up. Again, same thing, just kind of loop over. Kind of, kind of almost, you're playing leapfrog with these hooks. That's what I like to think about it. And then let's hook up the train to it. Nice. Okay, now let's start it off. We're gonna put it slowly. Ooh, very pretty. Wow, this is awesome. Um, I'm a glutton for straight tracks. I wish it was at least an oval or a square, but for what you're getting, this is really good. You can find these at a reasonable price, somewhere around, I think average is 70. I want to say, um, which sounds like a lot, but again, you're getting the controller, you're getting the train in three cars. Um, so I don't think it's really that bad of a price. Um, but yeah, this is really awesome. What I want to do now is I'm going to grab some of my old, or I'm going to grab some of my other end scale track as well as some other freight cars. And let's kind of have, let's kind of make a big end scale layout. Let's have fun. 
So after about an hour or so, it took a lot to figure out how to do this um, mini layout. I added a little cross track right over here just to give it a cool little loop. Sometimes my um, switch tracks, they don't always work sometimes. I think either the connection's faulty or sometimes like, if I move the rail and have it go on this track, even though it's not connected to anything, it won't be powered. Whereas, again, if I flip it, then it's connected, then it's connected to the rest of the layout, so then it will be powered. I'm not, I, I tried a lot of different combinations to get this to work, and I did. Um, as you guys can see, there's a, a pulling a whole bunch of cars, even the micro links, the, sorry, even the micro trains line. Um, I think these are excellent cars anyway. I think this totally fits with this train. Um, I already have this one car that has the two different um, connections. Oops, sorry. This car has a connection, has the loop hook and the J hook. And then all the way in the back, I was able to change this green one to also have the same thing to have two different ones. That way it could still pull a lot. Um, this one, unfortunately, I won't be able to let it pull the, those green passenger trains just because those hooks are a lot harder to um, reconnect, but let's give this a go. Look at that, pulling 10 cars with no problems whatsoever. So like I said before, this is an amazing set. Definitely get the Bachman and scale Stallion set. Um, it's really awesome. They actually have a counterpoint one, an H of scale actually, called the Thoroughbred. Same idea of playing off the idea of the horse being the Norfolk Southern symbol. I think it's a really cool touch. Um, hopefully I'll be able to look at that and buy that in the future. Again, this is really amazing. Even though mine was gently used, clearly you can see brand new, it really was. Um, the tracks are really nice. Um, they're the same ones that I have. I like that they added like the um, Sharpie to it to make it darker, like a blacker rail. I think that was kind of a cool touch. Um, I prefer like the gray rail, but so it just, it looks dirtier to me. It's not that big of a deal. Um, the fact that you get three cars are really nice and they're all three different types of cars, a gondola, an oil car, and a caboose. Um, those are some of the nice, awesome ones. I know that I added my grain, my grain hoppers from the Micro Trains line. Uh, again, that was an amazing. Click on the icon to also watch that review as well. Um, but a really cool overall set. I like that it was a nice circle. I wish that you, I wish that they added a little bit more to it. So I would definitely get um, an extra train pack, some couple of get the cross track like I have, a whole bunch of more straights, some curve tracks, switch tracks if you want to. Um, but uh, amazing, the train's great. Um, I did not expect, again, like I said, that light, the headlight to be so bright, something that I would not expect at all. So I was really impressed by that. And the fact that it could pull 10 cars is amazing. I know it's not a flat layout, um, but I would not expect um, for such a little train to have that much power. So that's really impressive and great on Bachman's part. So well done to them. And just like that, we're on the right track. I'll see you real soon when we come back. 
thank you so much for watching the College Railroader today. Be sure to be on the lookout for more videos to come. Take care, everybody.